of discovery Running wild, running free The wonder of discovery It's all so new The world round me It's all so new The world round me I want to hear I want to see I want to feel I want to touch, 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 touch Running wild, running free Running free I want to hear I want to see I want to feel I want to touch, 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 touch Touch A sphere. The child learns through his senses. His language is universal. Touch. Karina feels the circle. She feels the shape in the tray. It is also a circle. By herself, Karina is finding out where each shape belongs. Montessori helps the child by giving him materials scientifically designed to communicate basic ideas. Ideas such as length, size, shape. The child learns independently. Lisa matches the cutout with circles on a card. From the fully painted circle, she slowly moves to its outline. The next step is a leap to the abstract idea of a circle. Montessori teaching aids must be precise because they communicate ideas to the child. The sphere must be a true sphere, and the hands that shape it must care. Voltars cares about reaching out to as many children as possible. Its concern has taken it into the world of Montessori, a method that goes beyond language, race and culture. Geometrical solids help children anywhere in the world understand shape. A sphere, round, touch. Montessori, the child is king. A specially prepared environment allows him to blossom at his own pace. The adult is in the background. This world is mine, just right for me. This world is mine, just right for me. I choose my own activity. This world is mine. Just right for me For as long as I wish They let me be I'm king, I'm king I'm free, I'm free Worlds are opening up for me Worlds are opening up for me Worlds are opening up for me 
Today, Ebi has chosen the red rods. Balancing the longest rod, he's learning to coordinate his body with grace. The rods also help him to judge length. Ebi, like every child, is a perfectionist. Everything must be just so. Shilpa is lost in a world of her own, a world of spontaneous concentration. The pink tower communicates sizes. It also demands delicate control of movement. To Shilpa, it is a challenge and she meets it. The challenge for perfection is being met here at KB, a small factory in Hyderabad, India. Kira Banasinska is the pioneering spirit behind it. She has fused her own talent with traditional Indian skills to create Montessori equipment of rare finesse. KB is one of only two companies in the world approved by Association Montessori Internationale to manufacture its equipment. Volta's experience in managing and marketing helped put KB on its feet and make it self-sufficient. Today, KB products reach children all over the world. What do I want today? Not this. Mm -hmm. Not this. I know what I want. Through touch, Julia absorbs the shape of the letter. It has a sound. How fascinating! Ah! Now you see it? Ah! Ah! Can you hear ah when I say cat? Can you hear ah when I say mat? Can you hear ah when I say rat? Can you see ah? In pram, in lamp, each of these picture word tablets is a small work of art specially hand-painted. There's a little bit of the artist in every child. It's a small step from painting to drawing and from there to writing. Metal insets take the artist a step further towards writing. Oh look, I can write. Me too. I can also write. We can write. I can write. I can write. Zig Zag.
the Montessori child does not learn arithmetic, he experiences it. One, two, three, four, and many, many, many more. On to a chain of thousands. Open it. It will fill your whole room. How much more is this than one? Than ten? Than five hundred? It takes me three days to count it, and that too with help. First I count each bead in small bars of ten. Call out the numbers to be pegged by my friend. Together, one thousand. That's the big gold cube. A point, a line, a square, a cube. Isn't that geometry? Smooth, rough. Close your eyes and feel with the blind. With versatile Montessori aids, Voltaz has entered the world of the handicapped, the blind child. handicapped child can grow and find his rightful place in society. He only needs special keys that open up the world for him. Pre-primary and specialized teaching aids can be used by both normal and handicapped children. post box. Touch. Feel. Post the right shape in the right slot. Mina is a spastic. She has normal intelligence trapped in a disobedient body. With training and patience, she can make her hands obey her mind. Specialized teaching aids like the coffee mill help Mina coordinate both hands. Sarita's hands find it difficult to pick up things. For her, the knob has been made extra large. The normal hand can easily grasp the small knob and the large knob. Now, watch the spastic's hand.
has concealed magnets to guide the unsteady hands of a spastic child. Vishal's hands tremble. His eyes do not focus. Working with the adapted pink tower, he learns to overcome both problems. Special magnet holder. Now Sunil can complete the geometrical insets as well as a normal child. It is easy for the sighted child to see the black outlines of a constructive triangle. But what about the blind? A little bit of sandpaper and Poonam's hands see the edge. Now she can construct it herself. is an open sesame to learning. It's an exciting search for ways to know more about the world. Voltars is searching with the child for ways to communicate. It designed and developed this seven item braille kit at one fifth the price of European kits. 15,000 of these are being gifted to blind children of developing countries by the Royal Commonwealth Society for the Blind, Great Britain, and the Christoffel Blinden Mission, West Germany. With the Braille kit, the child begins to read, write, count, express himself. Braille typewriter of indigenous design is called a brailer. It is being made for the first time in India at a low cost with Voltar's expertise. is to do. 15 million Indians need artificial limbs. One of them is in this village classroom, Rashid, who lost his left leg in an accident. Today, his friends can hardly keep up with him. Anita too leads the girls. Who could guess that she lost her leg when she fell off a swing? Her artificial foot is lifelike. It is a barefoot and its very special construction gives it spring and flexibility. Anita can run on uneven ground, climb trees and play hopscotch with her friends.
Rashid's leg was amputated from the knee downwards. But his artificial foot is good enough. He can mix the clay just as well as any potter's son. He has won back his place in the mainstream of village life. Today, Voltar's concern is taking it from the city to the village where the future of India and Voltar's lies. For Rashid and others like him, Voltars is nurturing another small unit in Hyderabad to manufacture artificial hands and feet. It is a long-term project, one that will eventually be self-sustaining financially. By giving life to such units, Voltars is helping the child rediscover the joy of living. Happiness for Rashid is making his own pot. Happiness is overcoming a handicap step by step. Happiness. Every child must find it. A new world is opening up. Ask for it. We will reach out and touch.